Thomas Chris Edwards and welcome to this week's Tennis Warehouse vlog. First up, yep, I got some bandages on my head, a little surfing incident last night, 10 stitches, it's all good. All right, let's move on. First up, we've got some rackets that we're gonna look at today that are primarily engineered for juniors transitioning into adult size rackets, beginners looking for their first kind of like step into a, a controlled uh, racket, or say a smaller framed adult or someone who's just looking for something really fast and easy to get around. So these are the team, the team L's, the UL's, et cetera, that you'll see. But these also make great rackets to customize. Because they're so lightweight, you can add weight where you want it. So you can tail weight them, you can head weight them, you can center weight them, however you want to tailor the weight balance swing weight. Exactly to your taste, these rackets give you the most room to do that. So first up, I've got this pure aero team. So you've got a pure aero frame, great performance and a lighter weight package. You can add weight to this. You can go the rougher spec, add a lot of head weight. You can make it into more of a, a traditional player spec, go some tail weighting with a leather grip, maybe some uh, weight in the butt cap <clears throat> and just a little bit of weight here. Um, if you go weight at the tip, you're gonna increase swing weight the most. If you go weight at three and nine, you're gonna increase torsional stability the most. If you go 10 and two, you get a bit of both. Um, if you tail weight it, you can make the tip of the racket feel really fast and easy to, easy to whip around. So if you like to hit with a lot of spin, that can be a good way to go. Or if you're serving volume, beef it up, keep it nice and head light. It's a great way to go. Much in the same vein, you can get the Vicore 100L. Again, nice modern frame design, very spin friendly, just like the Pure Aero. Great playing racket, <clears throat> but in the L weight, gives you a ton of room to tinker and tailor that to your own desired spec. Now, if you wanted something a little bit more controlled, you can go to a Speed Team L. Again, lighter weight version of the Speed. Um, this one is also a great deal, $99 right now. We only have it in grip size three and four, so it's four and three eighths and four and a half. Um, but if those handle sizes work for you, kill a deal on a great rack racket for customization. Taking that control even further now, but rackets that are really engineered for like feel, precision, more for the advanced level player looking to tinker, or you know that smaller frame person just looking for a ton of control. We've got the Prestige MPL. This one tested really well. It's actually pretty solid and stable for its weight class. <clears throat> but again, it's got room for the stronger player to tinker with that one and add some weight. And then last but certainly not least, we're from the uh, Wilson Pro Room, we've got the Ultra Pro. Um, comes in two different string patterns, uh, 16 mains or 18 mains. And this one, it comes in a little bit beefier, but the swing weight's low too. So you can add some head weight. Again, you can go leather grip, tinker with it. Definitely for the more advanced level player, looking for a lot of control precision. Beautiful looking racket, great playing racket too in stock form. Add some weight to it, I think it gets even better for that stronger advanced level player. Okay, let's jump into some vintage now. First up, we've got a beast and it is the extender ripstick from Prince. This is an extended length racket with the graphite mono shaft. Really, really cool collectible, excuse me. Um, and uh, a fun one to get out and hit there. Plenty of room if you're a two-handed player too to get on that one. I would actually add a little bit of weight to this one to three and nine because the mono shaft isn't the best for torsional stability. So that's the way I would go right there. And then we've got a, a Yonex Titanium 400. Beautiful um, carbon-like graphic on this one. It's got the original plastic still on the handle. And uh, that is a nice playing racket too and a great collectible. And then last but certainly not least, we've got some wood. We've got a Brian Gottfried Snowit here. Um, we've had these on the vlog before. These are beefy, really solid, nice playing rackets. And again, great to hang on your wall as a collectible. All right, I'll see you next week. Hopefully I'll be looking a little bit better by then. <laughs>